Hello Nintendo Chit Chatters, I'm Ed Ray for NintendoChitChat.com. Welcome to episode 26 of Pokemon Ultra Sun on the Nintendo 3DS. Shoutouts to Nintendo for providing me a copy of the game. Last episode, we made our, our way over here to Pony Island for the very first time. Uh, we just had a bunch of battles with trainers and some wild Pokemon. We called our Furfro. Uh, we had some really good battles um, along the way, so we just go over, went over to the uh, Pokemon Center there and healed up, rested up. Now we're headed off to more of the area here. So let's go out and see what's available. If Pokemon and Trainer boost each other up, the Z-Power Unleashed should grow stronger too. That's very true. So lots of encounters. Um, we have to head down here somewhere to the next little area. But in the meantime, there's all kinds of encounters happening, like I said, and Trainer battles, so it's pretty fun. I see more berries. Ooh, I want that Pokeball. Dusk Stone. Yes, yeah, so we had a really cool and fun episode. They're going on a berry hunt. Okay, cool. Well. Instead of cutting back over to the left, we're going back over to the right. But who is this? Ooh, another Pelepper. Oh. This is a Pelepper, though. We don't have a Pelepper. Well, we do, I should say. We don't have a Pelepper? We have a Pelepper. Um, let's see. Let's gonna thrash him. We can use Lorantis, I guess, too, but that's okay. Very excited. Man, episode 26, I believe, already. Wow! Whew. Assurance. Um, hmm. Let's do that. We'll forget that move. And we'll learn this one. Assurance. Sounds pretty cool to me. Alright. So we're heading over here. First, berries. Will it be three out of three? There'll be uh, Pokemon in here? Feeding on the berries? No. Nope. First tree on the island so far that has no Pokemon inside of it. In the berries, anyway. <laughs> Last episode, we had two uh, Pokemon jump out of the berries towards us, which was fun. Wild encounter. Uh, Furfro again. You know, I really want to catch that Grand Bull, but I couldn't last episode, so. Let's switch and bring in uh, Hariyama in here. We got a really super effective move against this Furfro. And Quick Claw should allow us to go first. Not oh, retaliate. <laughs> that move is so funny. All right, close combat. You're gonna lower our attack. Man, if our attack wasn't lowered, they would have actually had a nice deal more damage to him, but. You gotta heal up. So won't take him out. What? Oh, so close. Don't appear, don't appear, don't appear. Alright, let's take this guy out before he does that again. Come on, quick claw. We get the first move. Alright, there we go. That very faint barking is kind of funny. Oof, oof. Well, hello! Let's have a quick battle while gathering berries together with our Pokemon. Sounds like a plan. 
He never even really asked. He just assumed I wanted to battle him. All right, it's Cook Phil. It's your Pokemon. Are we gonna pop out first? Execute. Oh, cool. <clears throat> Darkest Lariat, maybe. You want our flame moves? Let's try the Darkest Lariat. Level 44 is the execute. Super effective. That's hard boiled as eggs, man. All right, Cook Phil. Or Bombi. Um, keep battling here. We fought against these guys before. Bug Buzz. We're okay. No ailments. Alright, Cook Phil. Get your berries and be gone. I guess he's gathering berries, not only for his Pokemon, but also maybe to um, cook. Really? Pardon me. No, pardon me. Was I in your way? Ooh, a sticker. Before we go any further, there's a sticker. A 39. Alright, here we are. Hey, look at this. Nihai! Lily's there as well. It's good to see you again, too, Mudsdale. You look to be in fine form. There's a sticker on the inside of the wall there. I just saw that. Wow, Pokemon trainers really do amaze me. It seems like a hard path to walk, and even so, don't let yourself be held back by the fear of seeing your Pokemon friends get hurt. You just keep striving forward together. That's right, we do. Tapu. Oh, been a while, Eddie. And you brought Lily, too. Yes, it's good to see you, Hapu. I love her little dress. Or her attire, Hapu's attire. You look different, like you're ready to go all out in something now. Thank you, Hapu. I finally discovered what I need to do. So this is my Z-powered form. Ho! Oh, and do your best, Lily. No one could call you Lily-livered. Lily livered. Um, so Hapu, do you know where we can find the Kahuna? Uh, the Kahuna? Hmm. We don't have one here in Pony. What? Now, what do we do, Eddie? Well, do not be distressed. I wouldn't say that I know nothing of this. Alright, let's all proceed to the ruins. You stick with me, you two. Nahai! But I want that sticker! Alright, we can get the sticker here. I'm hoping. Eddie, we just have to keep going, right? But then again, you are a trainer, aren't you? I suppose you always keep moving forward. Wait here. Eek! What's happening? <clears throat> I'm sorry, I don't think we've been introduced. Ho ho ho, I'm Hapu's old gran. Are you two friends with my girl? How did you guess? Ho ho, you tease an old woman, eh? Traveling around the islands making new friends. You kids are luckier than you know. <laughs> nice flexing. If you want to head uh, for the Pony Island ruins, how about a bit of help from this old gran? Here, hand over your rider page in a moment. Awesome. We get to ride against on a new Pokemon, I think. Who will be our new ride here on Pony Island? I think it's a final. Oh, jeez. But champ was registered to your rider pager. That's cool. <laughs> it was use his muscles to carry us away. Hey, there's a Pokeball there, too. You'll need to move some big obstacles to make it down the path that you two hope to travel. I wish you both a brilliant future. Well, thank you, Hapu's grandma. I see some stickers and some Pokeballs. My, Hapu was heading for the ruins of hope, wasn't she? Go after her. First, you'll come to Pony Breaker Coast. You'll know it by the soil. It's black as pitch. Go through there, and you'll find the ruins. Thank you very much, ma'am. You've been a great help. Very helpful. The Ruins of Hope. That is where the Garden of Pony Island will be. That is where Tapu Finney lives. Let's go. Don't run! We're going to collect stickers. we got to collect stickers. How do I get in there? 
Oh, over here. We gently peeled it off. We get 40. Professor Oaks? Oh, well, hello there. It's me, Samson Oak. I've seen collected some totem stickers. You should come by Hee Hee Beach. We're fine. <laughs> On the barrel, I saw that one. Hey, look at that. Sorry, can we take this? Thank you. We're stealing stickers out of the house. Was there one on the door here or something? No, it's just the door knob. That's pretty cool. It's a Meowth. Hello, hello. Oh, this is the other door? Okay. I was like, huh? Alright, let's go back out. And get lost in there. Is there anything else in here? Aha! Uh -huh. One by the little water well. And there's a Pokeball back there. We should go for that. There's one in here, too. Okay. We gotta go through the grass. And probably an encounter. Whoa. Okay, one... One coming out of here, right? An encounter coming out, probably? Yeah. Maybe even two. <clears throat> Alright. Fur froze, you're all over the place. Actually, damaged himself with the recoil of that move, too, so. Alright. Oh, don't be confused. Almost level 60 for Incineroar. <laughs> Let's clean you up. Oh! Get you all clean. Alright, you're hungry. Now you're full. You're full of candy. Aha, that was pretty easy. Shiny stone. So, which way went ahead south, did they say? Yeah, alright. We're gonna head south. Ooh, a Pokeball's in there. Honeybreaker Coast, that's cool. Let's go in here first. Oh, can we not get in there? I don't know. Oh, look at that guy. There's a sticker in there. Rare trainer discovered. I must immediately make contact. He's like peeking through the little hole in the wall there. Kind of freaky. Stalker. You were challenged by Collector Raymond. All right, Collector Raymond. These collectors usually aren't too good. He's a Turtonator. We caught one of those guys last, uh, a couple episodes ago, I believe. On the last island. Hmm, Dragon Pulse. Hmm. What was the other Pokemon you have here?
A drum paw. A drum paw. What's a drum paw? I'm not sure. I'll bring the wave in just for so. Let's see. Oh, well, look at this. It's like a. It's a what is it? <laughs> Super Fang to the rescue! Ooh. Oh, are you like dark? Mystical Veil, huh? Oh, oh my. We'll, we'll keep Air Slash going here then. Should take you all the way down. It did. All right, the collector. Do you have a sense for why you seem rare? <laughs> I don't know, collector boy. But I want the sticker. No. I don't want to go up there. That was weird. <laughs> All I want is a sticker. And I want to head down to where we have to go. Alright, so there'll probably be an encounter in this grass here. Nope, okay. Excellent. This. That's pretty cool. Can we go fishing in there? battle this guy. Might be a few trainers along here, actually. Instead of a fish Pokemon, a trainer appeared. <laughs> really? Is that what appeared? Alright, Mr. Flexer. It's Swimmer Derek! Hey, it's trained with only one Pokemon. Very few have one Pokemon in here. Yeah, what is this? What does he have? A Dragalga. Really cool looking thing for sure. Let's take him out. Should have healed. Should have healed. Hey! You got an attack in and you're poisoned maybe before you fainted. We'll take care of that. The trainer brought me defeat. That's true. All this purple, misty stuff away from you. There we go. Good boy. Get in there. Alright, any other trainers I want to go to before we go over there? gonna be a Pokemon in here, right? Oh, I pulled it. Wow. That was lame. Now nothing will be there. Ah. <laughs> I hit A too fast. It's a Pokemon. Ooh, a sticky barb. All right. I want that one, that Pokeball. Give it to me. Ooh, a Gastrodon. Cool. Let's catch it. Look at this thing. It looks neat. Come on, Great Ball. Beautiful. We got a Gastrodon. That was worth it. A 
Okay. And no, we're not going to name it. <clears throat> Water and ground. No. Go in the box. That's really cool, though. It makes me happy. Ooh, we got Scald. Oh, another encounter. That's okay. Another gas run. We actually can battle you now. So, it was a water and ground. Let's see here. We'll bring in our uh, Lorantis then. Let's take you right out. Of course, you get the first move, won't you? For a switching. Ooh, body slam. Yikes. All right, let's do it. Razor Leaf. Well, that was that. That's cool. Let's battle this person, too. Like, you didn't see me walking behind you earlier? Does this area seem like a power spot to you? I don't know. And she has... the triple play? Two. She has two. Double play. Two Pokemon. Sandshrew. Cool. I'm gonna thrash him around, I think. Let's do it. Give him some thrashes. <clears throat> Sorry, buddy. Go back in the sand. And then watch it be a big old... Oh, it's a Persian. Uh, we'll keep battling. Taunt. Huh! Don't taunt the Incineroar. Are you confused, man? We'll fix that. Defeated Sightseer Jamie, always taking selfies. Alright, let's clean you up here. My stylus actually might be easier. go. Look at that. Alright, good boy. Get out of the way, lady. Okay. Go in here. Ooh, Ruins of Hope. At this place. There's Lily. Cool. The music really changed too. It's getting serious. The ruins of hope. What is this place? The air feels so oppressive. But but if we go in there, maybe Nebby will return to normal. People believe that the guardian deity of these ruins, Tapu Fini, can wash away any impurities with its mystic water. You think that will work? Oh, honestly, Eddie? I'm going to make sure that Nebby gets right back to normal, just to show you. Sorry. <laughs> I'm like, it's going to work? So, just you wait, Nebby. This time I'm going to be the one who saves you. Come on, Eddie, let's go. You're going to let yourself down, Lily. Let's hopefully his wish is granted. Yes. I'm gonna save here. I haven't saved for a little while, so let's do that. We have some puzzles going on in here. Look at this. Look at this. It's like a big puzzle. If we're going to break a path, we'll need to move these huge rocks. That's what Hapu's grandmother said, isn't it? Hmm. Ung. 
Ugh. She can't do it. I don't think I can do this. It's heavier than the words can even express. Well, I'm off the bar of my champ's formidable strength for this task. I read about it once in a book. If I remember it right, it said, when getting a ride from a power from a champ, trainers can activate my champ's shove by standing before a rock and pressing B. And if we find ourselves getting frustrated, we should probably remember to step outside again for a bit of perspective. Okay. Well, that will work. Let's look around here. Okay. I'm not sure about these. Hmm. We can push this into here. There we go. Cool. That works. Let's go, Lily. Who's up there? Is that Hapu? I've heard about them, you know. Below the sacred ruins and the guardian deities worship within them. They go wherever they want, so it's not easy to meet them, according to the books I've read. But if they are summoned here at the ruins, they do sometimes appear. Hmm. The book says that they are, well, Capricus. Encounters with them do not always end as you hope they will. Maybe that explains why even coming here to these ruins hasn't evoked any response from Nebi. Hmm. Oh, there's Hapu. So it was Hapu up there. I thought so. What are you doing, Hapu? Hello? Hapu? Ooh. No! Don't! What are you doing? Hmm. I give my thanks for your great blessing. As Kahuna, I will do my best for the people. So that's a Kahuna, the totem, and the Pokemon of Alola. She seems kind of evil with that face there. Oh, so you two were watching? Yes. Now, the Kahunas were chosen by the Pokemon we worship here in Alola, our sacred guardians. They are chosen from among the people living on the island each guardian that watches over. Lita told me that you're pretty new to our parts, eh, Eddie? You came to Alola from far off? You must really be something, then. I heard how you were given a sparkling stone by the Tapu, even as a stranger to our shores. We were. My grandfather was also a chosen uh, for this honor, the honor of being our island's kahuna. But he died suddenly some years back, and we're left with a kahuna of pony. Without a kahuna of pony. I tried to follow his footsteps, but I was not chosen by the Tapu back then. So I set out on my own sort of island challenge. Traveling Alola and trying to grow stronger. <clears throat> hmm. Lily, the kahuna you wish to meet is right here. Oh, of course. And please, kahuna Hapu, tell me about the legendary Pokemon. So you want to know about the Sogelo uh, who we pay tribute to at the Altar of the Sunny? I must go after my mother. She disappeared off in some far-off world. And a fearsome creature lives in that world. A Pokemon called Necrozma. That's why I went to ask the legendary Pokemon for his help. The legendary Pokemon is the only one who can go back and forth between worlds. A world where beasts reside, eh? Reckon there must be kind of a world where you find the other end of these holes that open up in the sky. Just as my grandfather once described. Alright, I will tell you what I know. Oh, thank you, Hapu. But what I know is not much. Just that there is some ceremony held for the legendary Pokemon at the altar. A ceremony that uses two particular flutes to somehow give legendary Pokemon power. Hmm, two flutes? The moon flute? My mother had it. Oh, that looks like 
to be the flute that used to be uh, to reside at the lake on Ula Ula. The other said to be the hell uh, to be held on Executor Island. Don't know why they're all there of all places, but it has been passed down that there's that's where it belongs. Executor Island. I think I've read about it before. It's uninhabited island off the coast of Pony. Isn't that right? Hmm. Yes, yeah, so no reason to dally there. Let us go and speak with Mina. Lily, you take Mudsdale. We'll proceed to Seafolk Village. All right. So heading out of the ruins already to Seafolk Village. We touch the statue. Keep touching the statue. Come on, do something. Oh man, okay. Well, yeah, nothing else in the ruins there. You can walk over that. Executor Island. I could just fly away after go here, huh? Let's fly. Come on, Charizard. And away we go. All right, there they are. Hey, guys. Thank you, Hapu, and thank you, Mudsdale. And that's what friends do. Friends? An amazing trainer like Hapu considers me a friend? That's right. I am so glad I got to meet you, Hapu. It's your journey to Executor Island. You should speak with Mina. She can help arrange a boat for you. I shall be wishing for your safety. Moheen! Alright, cool. A boat to Executor Island, guys. Hope it's a fun boat. Where would I hide? Keep your eyes peeled, partner. Did you find out anything useful? Yes, Hapu was made the new Kahuna. Little Hapu was? We've been having old man Nanu look after our Grand Charles until now. Hmm. Now we have got our own little kahuna. That's great. Yes, Hapadu will, will do her best to her uh, for her late grandfather, as I must do my best for her mother's sake, and for Nebby's as well. And so, there is a place that we need to go. Executor Island. Oh, where the flute is, right? Well, in that case, we better get to the chief. Did you call me? The chief's already here. <clears throat> With the pelepper. Oh my goodness. Nice to meet you. I am the chief of Seafolk. I couldn't help overhearing what you said, so why don't I get you to Executor Island? Oh, thank you. Hold up there, little lady. It's Eddie who will go on this trip. He's a trainer, after all. And Executor Island is a pretty crazy place. Huh, that's true. There are some crazy critters on the island. It's one thing for a trainer to go, but if you're not a trainer, you should just trust your friend to take care of this task for you. But, Eddie? Just wait here. You're right. I'm sure you and Cinderella can handle it better than anyone else could. I'll wait for you here to come back. And while we're waiting for Eddie, I'll make you model for a picture, Lily. Well, that's cute. But go shopping or something, too. Any shops around here for Lily to go to? Look at this boat. It's a Magikarp. <clears throat> awesome. Look at this island, it's so cool. It looks very friendly, but probably not. There's a flute right up there. But it'll be no way easy task getting up there, I'm sure. <clears throat> we will see about that.
Sweet. Executor Island. We're here! Ha ha ha. Here we are at Executor Island. I heard this place used to be a trial site. Though that was a long time ago now. Hmm, looks like the fellows are even more woke up than usual. Or worked up than usual. But they're always a noisy bunch. It's probably fine. You go on. Good luck. And I'll be here. Hopefully, you'll be there when we get back. Alright guys, we're gonna save our game here. And we'll come back next episode and we'll explore Executor Island and hopefully get that flute that we need as well. So guys, do me a favor. Make sure you blast the like button. Comment below. Subscribe. Share the video with a friend. And thanks to Nintendo once again for providing me a copy of the game. I'm Eddie Ray. Have a great day. See you next time.